Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, I have my forerunner, Grim Repo, in the shop, and uh, I am on this mission to fix all of my oil leaks, all of them. And for today's video, I will show you how I replace the seals on my engine oil cooler, which has been leaking for quite some time. So let's get into the shop, and I will show you how I do that. First of all, I waited until I needed an oil change to do this because you've got to drain out the oil so it just only makes sense. So I'm doing an oil change too. And I started out by removing part of the undercarriage liner or the skid plate. You can see that I still have the front one here, but uh, this one that covers this area has been removed with just a few 12 millimeter bolts, depending on how many you have, how many you have lost. Uh, I have four, so I removed all four of my 12 millimeter bolts and now I have my drain pan and I'm gonna drain the oil out. So that's how you start this process. So this is the leak that I will be tackling today. This is the engine oil cooler and you can see that it is leaking right there and being annoying. And uh, actually, kind of the same way that the oil filter does, when it leaks down, it tends the oil tends to stick in this little lip in between the block and the oil pan, and the oil will sort of seep across, and it can make you think that you have an engine oil pan seep when well, you don't. So I, I actually may have an engine oil pan seep, but I like to start from the top of the engine and work my way down because gravity. <laughs> and uh, sometimes, you know, this might not be that big of a deal and it might just like, maybe it still has a little seep, but it could be exacerbated by like the other leak that could just make it look worse. And this one, you can tell, is very much an active drip. It's an active leak. We can see the oil coming down there. So this is a pretty bad one. So this is what I'll be doing today. Okay, and now I have my 24 millimeter socket on my long handled ratchet. And I'm gonna try to place my phone up in here so you can see what I'm working at. <laughs> okay, well, we'll let that leak for a little bit. 10 minutes later and it's still leaking. <laughs> oh, all right, let's, well, let's see if we can speed it up a little bit. Okay, and eventually you'll get to the end. Wow, there we go. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so here is the bolt that goes through the center of our oil cooler and it's just this huge freaking banjo bolt. Here's a better view of the banjo bolt now that I've gotten it out and out of the darkness and cleaned it off with a little bit of brake clean. And also I've been using this to clean the inside of them. Normally you see a bunch of sludge in here, but mine is beautiful. I'm so pleased. And here are the parts that I'll be using today. We have a couple different seals. This one, see the part number here, but I'll link this in the description. Obviously I got this from the Toyota dealership. Um, so we have an O-ring and a seal. These are the two parts that you need for this job. Here you can see that this is the crush washer with seal. And then on the back side is going to be our other gasket. And for the inner seal, I'm just gonna be yeah. <laughs> doing this at a funny angle so I can record it and thus uh, making a giant mess. So as you can see, just pulling the cooler away from the block there. And this is hard to do with one hand, but that's all right. Oh. <gasps> okay, there we go. Look at that. Now I have both surfaces all nicely cleaned up. Well, in the time that it took me to grab my camera, I, this little oil drip came, but that's okay because you need oil for lubrication, so it's fine. But uh, I just took a gasket scraper and got all the old debris off of there, off of both sides, and now I'm gonna put everything back together. Super simple. It's just, I mean, so easy. There we go. There we go. Now we are going to torque the bolt to specification, of course. And for that, we have 43 foot pounds 
on my little torque wrench. Pop off my engine oil and uh, check for leaks. Make sure that I didn't mess this up. No leaks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. And uh, if you liked it, then give me a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment if you feel like it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.